Stan Collymore now with the chance to take on his defenders and put in a telling cross. A low cross it is, but it's cleared by Trevor Peake, only as far as Andy Sussex. What a great goal from Andy Sussex. 22 minutes gone here, and Andy Sussex makes it 1-0 to South End. The cross here from Stan Collymore looked as if it was going to be cleared easily. It was cleared, but only as far as Sussex on the volley. What a great goal. And Tilson just lumps the ball away, but it finds Stan Collymore. It beats Chris Kamara to the ball and can find Mark Hall running down the right. Two and three South End players looking for the ball in the penalty area. Instead, Hall tries to take on the man. Chris Kamara there, who was a judge to have fouled him. Tilson takes it at the far post to Spencer Pryor, and there's Brett Angel! 2-0 to South End. The second goal, five minutes before half time from Brett Angel. And Alec Chamberlain despairing there. Yeah, Brett Angel with his fifth goal since coming back into the team. Makes it 2-0 to South End. The free kick again does the trick at the far post was Spencer Pryor and there was Angel Trevor Peake and Marvin Johnson Johnson again but there's very little penetration this afternoon from Luton and Spencer Pryor breaks away and looks for Stan Collymore and he has Brett Angel alongside him instead he takes on his man and shoots so it could have been with two minutes to go to half time it could have been 3-0 to South End a great ball there from Spencer Pryor Finds Stan Collymore. Brett Angel is running alongside him. Collymore takes his man on, shoots. It's 2-1 here now. The goal from Kerry Dixon. The Luton throw in eventually finds Kerry Dixon, the man who's been brought here on loan for the last two or three months of the season. He gets in the shot. It's touched by Paul Sampson, but he can't stop it going in the net. Johnson looks for Phil Gray, who takes a clattering in the head there. Referee sees nothing wrong with that, and here's Andy Sussex. Finds Stan Collymore. In the middle is Brett Angel. Collymore doesn't need him! But I think the referee has blown for an offside decision there against Stan Collymore. The linesman flag was up before Collymore had a chance to put the ball in the net. What a great finish it was, but it was all to no avail. Stan Collymore, the man whose goals have given Southend some hope of avoiding relegation if he stays the way today. Of course, they will avoid relegation. He's scored 18 so far. This was the ball here from Andy Sussex. Don't think it was Angel. Don't think it was Collymore offside. Maybe it must have been Brett Angel. Here's Stan Collymore, beats John Dreyer on this occasion, looks for the cross. Cross comes in, cleared by Trevor Peake. But put back in by Steve Tilson, again, Peake to the ball. And a flashing drive there from Keith Jones. Goes wide of the Luton Town goal. Stan Collymore over this one, maybe a shot from him, a farewell present from him to the South End United supporters. If not, it could be Keith Jones or Steve Tilson. But here's Collymore. Lovely shot from Stan Collymore, not too wide of that Luton Town goal. I think there would have been very little that Alec Chamberlain could have done about it if it had gone on target. Collymore runs up to it, shoots, but just wide. Luton in a crashing hurry now. But the referee blows the final whistle, and that means that South End United are safe. They win the match 2-1. And that means that safety is assured for Southend United.